In this ICT basics video, I'm going to cover the concept of the consequent encroachment of an inefficiency, specifically of a fair value gap. So on the right side of my screen here, and on the micro uh, Russell 2000, you can see that I have a series of fair value gaps from, from a daily fair value gap to four hour fair value gaps to three hour fair value gaps. So for example, go to the, go to the daily, and you can see what I mean by a one day fair value gap high right there. See that? One day fair value gap high, one day fair value gap. Well, it's actually an inverted fair value gap, but so be it. Um, that's where I'm getting these levels from, basically. Um, and when I, so when I go on the lower time frame, I still have these levels to reference. Now, what is significant about the 50%? Okay, so the, the consequent encroachment or the CE, all right, it, to, to abbreviate, the CE of a of an inefficiency here I'm just I just have um, fair value gaps it is the marker between premium and discount relative to that inefficiency it's the marker between short-term premium short-term discount and remember if you use your your basic ICT knowledge which is that discount seeks premium and premium seeks discount um, one of the very first targets that you can have like for example, you can see where I have my take profit here. Why do I have it at 1883 spot one? I, you know, I might take the trade off earlier than that, I don't know, but, but why would I put my take profit there? Well, that's sort of the minimum short-term premium above this two hour fair value gap. So for example, we see we have a two hour fair value gap. The minimum premium relative to that two hour fair value gap is one tick above that. So it's a pretty safe target in terms of your targets, okay? So the, the midpoint of a fair value gap is known as the consequent encroachment. I just call it the 50%. You could call it the midpoint or you can just you can call it the CE or consequent encroachment. It's the marker between premium and discount of an inefficiency. Okay? And so if you're currently sitting in a discount relative to your dealing range or relative to the inefficiency that you're working with, like so for example, if I see that, all right, let's call this my dealing range. I know that I'm in a discount relative to this pretty long-term dealing range, right? Like a like a full day's worth of trading, basically. I know that I'm in a I'm in a discount relative to that. Well, that also happens to line up pretty closely with a two-hour fair value gap premium and discount. So I have a good idea that if we're sitting in a discount right now and discount seeks premium, and you know a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency should be re-delivered to the buy side, then I have a fairly good guess that the market should go to 1883 spot one. Now it could go much higher, right? It could go significantly further than that, but it's just a it's just the basic line between premium and discount. And so whenever you have an inefficiency, so let's say you're working with a new week opening gap or a new day opening gap, or you're working with the fair value gap, which is basically all that I work with now. I, I only use fair value gaps now. I've kind of made that decision. Um, you always want to mark out the 50% point. That is your consequent encroachment. It's the marker between uh, an inefficiency's premium and discount. Okay, and just remember that discount seeks premium and premium seeks discount. In other words, high seek lows and low seek highs. The market trades in two directions, right? So the 50% point of an inefficiency is known as the consequent encroachment, and it is the demarcation line between premium and discount relative to an inefficiency. Okay, relative to a fair value gap, new day opening gap, new week opening gap, volume imbalance, or any or a liquidity void, an actual gap. It is the demarcation between premium and discount of an inefficiency. You can see here I'm just using fair value gaps. Okay, guys, in this video we covered the consequent encroachment of, uh, of an inefficiency, otherwise known as the midpoint or the 50% point, which is the line between premium and discount of an inefficiency. Bye-bye.